Greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, and while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are here for you. 844-236-6010 is our number, 844-236-6010. We want to help you change your life today. We want to help you change the lives of loved ones, friends, family members, customers, clients, patients today. If you have questions about anything health-related, nutritional supplement-related, formulations, ingredients, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. And if you have a success story you'd like to share, we especially like hearing those. Or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program, including the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Ultimate Nightly Essence, Ultimate Selenium, Ultimate Niacin, Healthy Start Pack, any of the fine longevity products are all up at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can order your products right off the website, or you can call 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470 if you want to purchase products or if you want to sign up to join the Brightside Ben team. Call 866-735-2470 for a one-time $25 fee. You can start a longevity business, earn thank you checks associated with having your own business, help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. Work out of your home, work as much or as little as you like, make as much money or as little money as you like, or if you just want to get your products at the wholesale price. Call 866-735-2470 for more info, or you can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. Also want to remind you to check out our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com. If you're tired of paying for water and wax and fillers and tired of paying for products that don't work, if you've got a medicine cabinet filled with products that you've used once or twice and didn't make a wits bit of difference on your skin, you need to check out our Truth Treatment products. Truth Retinol 5% Gel, if you're dealing with hyperpigmentation, retinol is your go Two active ingredient for dark spots, for anti-aging, for acne blemishes, for stimulating collagen production. And by the way, retinol always works better when it's combined with vitamin C, and that's why in our Truth Retinol 5% Gel, you'll get a big old dose of fat-soluble premium vitamin C in our transdermal delivery matrix, and that's it. Retinol, vitamin C, transdermal delivery matrix, that's all you get in our Truth Treatment, in our Truth Treatments Retinol 5% Gel. No preservatives, no fragrance, no filler, no wax, no thickener, no water, no surfactant, no silicon, no oil, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in any of our Truth Skin Health products, including our Truth Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Transdermal C Serum, Truth Transdermal C Balm, and our Truth Omega 6 Healing Cream. All right, welcome back to the Bright Side, friends. Ran into this quote from one of my favorite physicists. 
I'm an amateur physicist, I guess you would say. I love quantum physics. Just from an amateur standpoint, I'm not much of a mathematician, but quantum physics is just so darn cool. Things disappearing and appearing spontaneously. Nobody knows where anything exists. Everything's just a probability. There's so many powerful ways that we can use quantum physics or the, the, the uh, logic or the a-logic, the, the non-logic, because it's not really a very logical science of quantum physics. How do things disappear and appear spontaneously? How can things not exist and only probably exist? How can little pieces of stuff somehow cross, cross walls without going through the wall, just on, appear on one side of the wall and then appear on the other side of the wall? I mean, there's so many bizarre things in quantum physics, yet we know it works because we got CDs and we got bar, uh, barcode scanners and we've got computers and we got all of these ways that quantum physics shows up in our real practical world. But from a theoretical point of view, nobody really understands this thing. Anyway, I ran into this quote by one of my favorite quantum physicists or scientists. A guy named Werner Heisenberg came up with what he calls the Heisenberg Uncertainty Principle, which says we don't know nothing about nothing. It's all uncertain. Uh, he mathematically proved this, that it's all uncertain. We don't know nothing about nothing. Anyway, this is a quote. I think this is so cool. Quote, the smallest units of matter are not physical objects. They are ideas, which can be expressed only in mathematical language. This is so amazing. It means the foundation of everything is an idea. It's not a thing, it's a thought. Plato said this. Plato talked about this in 600 BC. Werner Heisenberg talked about it in 1920 AD. The fact of the matter is, underneath our reality is just ideas, and this is why programs like this are so important, where we talk about ideas. Ideas that we can use to create our reality. Ideas that we can use to create our lives. Ideas that we can use for better or worse. And one of the most important ideas in the realm of health involves, as we've been talking about now for months, for years really, is food foods. In my opinion, much of our absolute horrific epidemic of chronic disease where nearly one out of four Americans or one out of three Americans maybe has some chronic disease and, and one out of five or six Americans has multiple chronic diseases. This epidemic, this horrific scourge can be traced to the corruption, in my opinion, you, you may disagree, but in my opinion, it can be traced to the corruption and the nutritional manipulation of what we eat. Most of us are living on foods that are packaged and boxed and devoid of nourishment and under conditions like this, it's impossible not to be sick. It's impossible not to be sick if we are subsisting on the standard American diet, which is basically processed food. If we're subsisting on these kinds of foods, most of us are, illness is inevitable. Pretty much you're gonna get sick because the body needs these missing nutrients to keep itself operating. Remember, the body is a self-repairing system. It's fully capable of repairing and healing and regenerating itself. And all you gotta do is just remember the last time you got a little paper cut on your finger and just observe and, and really honor the miracle that occurs as that paper cut heals itself. The most incredible miracle happens just with a little paper cut, let alone all the things that happen inside our body, all the damage that occurs inside our body every day. We don't even think about it. We don't even know it because the body is healing itself, but it needs the raw materials to do its work. This is not an idea that your doctor is going to promote. He's going to call it quackery. He's going to say it's silly, and it's not your doctor. We'll say the medical model. This is not an idea that the medical model promotes because it depends on our dependence. It's dependent on our dependence. It needs us to need it for its own financial interests, for its own economic interests, for its own power interests, it's always going to be the institution versus the individual. And the institution of medicine is pitted against the individual patient. And that's why we don't hear about this from our doctors. The body is capable of healing itself like a self-repairing machine. It heals, it builds, it fights disease, it kills wayward cells, it even kills cancer cells on its own. Yes, the body kills cancer cells on its own as long as it has simple, basic building blocks to do its work. Health is about the simple things. It's about the simple lifestyle choices. Same with disease. Disease is also about the simple things. Things are missing, basically. Wrong things are getting in, right things aren't. That's really what disease is. Wrong things getting in, right things aren't. Underneath all illness, you're gonna find the same basic breakdowns, the same missing elements. Foods, nutrition, oxygen, sugar sedentary lifestyle, stinking thinking, negative emotions, spiritual crisis. Do you hear the need for a doctor in any of this? All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. back 
from the bright side. I am Pharmacist Ben, and we got lots of lines open for you at 844-236-6010. 844-236-6010. If you've got questions about anything we're speaking about here today, or if you've got a health challenge you or a loved one, uh, you or a loved one may be dealing with, or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, or if you have a success story you'd like to share, 844 236 6010 is our number. We'll get your calls at the bottom of the hour, as we always do on the bright side, 844 236 6010. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the bright side, please call the bright side Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. You can also purchase products by going to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the websites as well for a one-time $25 fee. You can start a longevity business. You get more information at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. And if you'd like to purchase or check out our truth treatment products, go to truthtreatments.com or Truth Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Serum, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, and Truth Balm are all up at truthtreatments.com. We also have a a, a skin health blog up at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, so health is about the simple things. It's about the little things. Underneath all illness, you're going to find the same breakdowns. This is not something your doctor is going to tell you because he depends on us needing him. The medical model depends on us depending on them. And that's why you don't hear about these simple, basic ideas. Underneath all illness, you're going to find missing nutrition, missing the wrong kind of food, the wrong kind of thinking, the wrong kind of emotions, sedentary lifestyles. There's no need for a doctor in any of this. Does this sound silly or airy-fairy? It's powerful stuff, folks. Powerful, powerful stuff. The notion of simplicity leading to complexity is a mathematically proven phenomenon. Simplicity leading to complexity. Scientists call this complexity theory. It's part of physics. It's part of hardcore theoretical physics. It only really, we only really started to understand the notion of simpli- simplicity and, and complexity maybe 100, well, maybe 60 years ago, maybe in the 1940s or 1950s. That's when we really started to understand that underneath all complex phenomena, you will find simplicity. Scientists call it simplexity. Google simplexity. There's books now written about simplexity, the idea that simplicity underlies complexity. And it's, this is not just theory. This is power. This is our power when it comes to taking care of ourselves. It's not, and it's not just the behind the disease process. It's really about all life. All life depends on simplicity leading to complexity. In computers, you got two little digits, you got zeros and ones, and you get this infinite variety of complex phenomena from the internet to supercomputers to CDs to virtual realities that are soon to be indistinguishable from so-called reality, from the so-called real world, all based on zeros and ones. The body is likewise a complex system that's based on simplicity. All biological phenomena is the result of cells turning on and off. That's all it is, cells turning on and off. Now, how they turn on and off, why they turn on and off, that's, that's miraculous. That's divine intelligence. But the fact of the matter is, if you're not healthy, or if you are healthy, it has to do with how your cells are turning on and off. And what is it that regulates the cells turning on and off? It's our lifestyle. It's not the drugs we take. It's not the surgeries we have. It's not the angioplasties or the balloons or the stents or the meshes or the things the doctor does to our body with his knife, with his, with his uh, scalpel. It's the foods we eat. It's the air we breathe. It's the water we drink. It's the nutrients we take. It's the thoughts we think. It's the feelings we have. It's the way we move our bodies. It's the way we rest our bodies. It's our spiritual connection. That's it, people. It's not doctoring. It's not medicalizing. And once we understand how to leverage these simple ideas for our benefit, there's going to be no need for doctors except for uh, accidents and trauma, which is really where the medical model excels. And, and you know what? Credit where credit, give credit where credit is due. When it comes to uh, trauma, when it comes to uh, damage, that's where the medical model excels. They can stitch things, all kinds of things back on. They can stitch fingers back on. They can stitch hands back on. They can transplant livers. They can do all kinds of things uh, in an emergency context. But that's not where our problems are when it comes to health. Our problems when it comes to health are chronic, they're long-term, they're lifestyle, they're diabetes, they're Alzheimer's disease, they're neurodegenerative diseases, they're kidney diseases, they're bone diseases, they're cancer. Doctors have no business working with, with these kinds of illnesses because they can't do Zippo about it, except make things worse. That's all they can do is make things worse. It doesn't matter, of course, because we can do it ourselves. And of course, nutritional supplementation, 
man, that's a powerful, powerful strategy. Nutritional supplementation plays, if not a, if not the key role, it plays a key role in, in how we leverage these ideas for our benefit. Fatty nutrients like vitamins D, essential fatty acids, minerals like zinc and selenium, as well as the water-soluble nutrients like the electrolytes and vitamin C and the B vitamins. And because these water-soluble nutrients have to be in solution for them to work, they're best used in liquids. When water-soluble nutrients, your electrolytes, the B-complex, vitamin C, are put into the body in a liquid form, they go right to work. And if you've ever experienced an energy buzz from your BTT, from your Beyond Tangy Tangerine, you've experienced the power of liquid nutrition, the power of liquid Bs specifically. And this is especially important if you had a gallbladder taken out, if you're dealing with an intestinal issue, uh, ulcerative colitis, irritable bowel syndrome, SIBO, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, pancreatic issues, liver health issues. Veggie juices, smoothies, these are all also excellent ways to get a concentrated dose of B vitamins and electrolytes and water-soluble nutrients into your system easily, especially the B vitamins, your energy vitamins, your stress management vitamins. And because the B vitamins also play a role in the digestive process, starting your meals with your BTT or drinking your BTT with your meals can be very helpful. The BTT contains, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine that is, contains nutrients that should be in the food but aren't. So if you're subsisting on cooked food, processed food, packaged foods, use your BTT with your meals. It'll help you digest your food. You'll find you're eating less food. Same with using veggie juices, especially at the start of the meals. Remember, starting your meals off with veggie juices will psychologically prepare you to not eat crappy during the meal. Starting your meals off with veggie juices will fill you up so you don't uh, need as much food, so you stop eating earlier, so you get less calories. Starting your meals off with veggie juices is a great way to make sure you're getting all the nutrients from the veggies. If you start your meal off with bread, you're going to eat less veggies. Start your meal off with a salad. Start your meal off with beans or with uh, uh, string beans. Start your meal off with uh, any kind of vegetable. If you start off your meal with bitter veggies, like kale or arugula or parsley, you'll get the bonus of digestive juice stimulation. These bitter vegetables stimulate digestive juices like bile and stomach acid. And of course, veggies are also a great source of electrolytes, like the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Electrolytes are electrical minerals. They're minerals that are water-soluble. Some of the minerals require the fatty processing in the body, the bile and the, and the gallbladder and the liver. Selenium and zinc require, and copper require more fat processing. But a lot of the minerals are watery. Potassium particularly, and sodium, and chloride, and calcium, and magnesium. They call them electrolytes. When they put them in water, or when we put them in water, or when they are in water, they generate an electrical charge. But unfortunately, like the B vitamins and like vitamin C, electrolytes are largely removed when foods are processed when they're heated, when they're cooked, when they're frozen. And deficiencies in these electrolytes and these highly energetic and valuable nutrients are not uncommon. Like the B vitamins, electrolytes are found in living foods, or formerly living foods, sprouts, algae, eggs, organ meats, yeast. These kinds of foods that were alive or, or uh, are alive are powerful, important sources of these electrically active Electrolytes, B vitamins, and vitamin C, water soluble nutrients. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844 is our number. We'll be back on the bright side right after this. Okay, we are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Got lots of lines open for you. 844 236 6010 is our number. If you've tried to call in in the past, got a busy signal. We do have lines open at 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, longevity business, if you've got questions about foods or food preparation or anything we're talking about here today, if you just want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that too. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. From the journal Nature Communications, scientists reveal the relationship between sugar and cancer. This new discovery provides evidence for the positive correlation between sugar and cancer. Could it be that our cancer epidemic, where one out of two or three people is going to get cancer in their lifetime, could it be that it has to do with the fact that we're all eating so much sugar? Well, it turns out that cancer loves sugar. Cancer cells are sugar burners. If you are 
don't want to get cancer, if you're dealing with cancer, one of the best things you could do is just go zero tolerance for sugar. And when I'm talking about sugar, I'm talking about bread and pasta and potatoes and rice and cereal as much as I'm talking about fruit, about the desserts and fruit juices and even fruits. Fruits do contain a protected form of sugar, so they're not probably not as bad as, uh, well, they're not as bad as uh, a straight, straight sugar that you get in processed foods. But... Uh, you know what? If you have cancer, you don't really need to have fruits anyway. There's, there's no real tremendous upside to eating a lot of fruit. If you, you know, it's delicious and they're tasty and we all love our sugar, but uh, you don't need a whole apple. You don't need a whole banana. Do a quarter of a banana. If you freeze your fruits, you can suck on them like a candy. They last longer. Or you can buy frozen fruits, frozen organic fruits, and you can suck on those like a candy. Suck on. When I want something sweet, I'll take a cherry. I got a bag of frozen organic cherries in my in my freezer. I'll just take a, a couple of cherries. Or you can use blueberries or raspberries and just suck on it like a candy. You'll get the nutritional value of the fruit, and you won't be eating as much as if you do whole handfuls of the stuff. If you're dealing with sugar, it becomes extra, extra important to make sure you're, if you're dealing with cancer, it becomes extra, extra important that you t pay very close attention to sugar and sugar metabolism, how your body processes sugar, using your ultimate niacin, using your ultimate selenium, using your sweeties, making sure that you're getting more fiber, doing a fiber drink or a fiber beverage every day can help, doing a fiber beverage with your sugary foods, that can help slow down the release of sugar, making sure you're doing more protein. For everybody, not just for dealing with cancer, but for everybody. But when it comes to cancer, cancer loves sugar. And cancer cells are sugar burners. From the, uh, also from the journal Nature Communications, common acid reflux medications like Nexium and Prevacid that you get over the counter promote chronic liver disease. Huh, how do you like that? Approximately 10% of us are on a PPI type drug, a proton pump inhibit inhibitor drug. One out of 10 people are taking this kind of drug to block stomach acid secretions and relieve uh, symptoms of heartburn. If you're dealing with GERD, gastroesophageal reflux disease or, or heartburn, it's a food problem and it's a stress problem. That's what heartburn's about. It's about an activated stress response and about the wrong kind of foods. Under conditions of, a, of an activated stress response, the valves and the, uh, the sphincters and the openings that connect the esophagus to the digestive tract become loose and flabby. Specifically, the valve that connects the esophagus to the stomach becomes loose and flabby. Acid splashes back up. Think wrong food, think stress response. Sometimes uh, drugs can do it, like uh, caffeine. But it's certainly not a need for, it's not, uh, uh, a, it doesn't mean that you require Nexium, which, by the way, is one of the top five best-selling drugs every year, maybe of all time. Prilosec, Nexium, Prevacid, these are the most commonly prescribed medications in the world, especially for folks who have liver disease. And as it may turn out, they may promote liver disease. No surprise if you've been listening to this program, there's no such thing. There is no such thing. There is no such thing as a prescription drug, as a pharmaceutical agent that is not going to negatively affect the body somehow. And I don't even like calling these side effects because they're primary effects. That's how they work. They shut things down. They suppress things. They inhibit things and they block things. Not good for health. Here's another good one. Check this out. Pathway between gut and liver regulates bone mass. Researchers have discovered a previously unknown biological process that regulates the production of new bone cells. And this is in the digestive system, in the digestive tract. Yes, now the digestive system or defects in the digestive system in the intestines specifically have been linked to osteoporosis. Once again, we see how these simple ideas, these basic ideas about food, about nutrition, about supplementation are linked to the disease process and also to the anti-disease or the health process as well. One more and then we'll get your phone calls, 844-236-6010. This is from uh, the University of Edinburgh in London, in London uh, or in England. Uh, uh, I think it, oh, it's in, in Scotland, actually. Sunshine may lower blood pressure and boost heart health. How do you like that? Talk about simplicity. Could the secret of good health be as simple as spending more time in the sun? Well, I'm not going to tell you that you're going to cure your cancer by spending more time in the sun, but it's certainly going to be good for your health. It'll lower your blood pressure. It'll improve heart health. It'll improve serotonin levels. You'll eat less food. You'll have more energy. A little bit of sunshine goes a long way, and don't pay any attention to that nonsense about sunshine and skin cancer. We grew up in the sun, in the African sun. 
The body is well equipped to handle sunshine. What you don't want to do is you want to, don't want to be out in the sun if you're not taking care of your nutrition. And there's wonderful, wonderful nutrients that you can use to protect your skin from the sun. Anything that protects your eyes from the sun is going to protect your skin from the sun. As we get older, it becomes extra important to use pigments, reds, oranges, greens, blues, yellows, pigmented veggies, in order to protect our skin. When we eat those pigments, they go through our digestive tract, they get deposited in the skin. As we get older, this becomes extra important because pigments are hard to absorb out of the digestive tract and, and increasingly dif more difficult to absorb uh, as we age. So as we age, it becomes extra important to use pigmented veggies with fat. The fat combines with the veggies, we're going to talk about this tomorrow, to release the pigments, which can then be uh, accessed by the bloodstream and, and ultimately can wind up in the, or will wind up in the skin to protect you from the sun. Likewise with your eyes, by the way. Anything that protects your eyes from the sun is going to protect your skin from the sun, even if you just want to use eye vitamins like our Vision FX, which you can find uh, at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Just using the Vision FX can have skin protective benefits as those pigments that protect your eyes will also protect your skin. Okay, 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open for you. Let us go to Brian in New Hampshire. Welcome to the Bright Side. Brian, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing okay, Ben. Uh, uh, I, do I sound okay to you? You sound awesome. What's going on? Okay, great. Well, I have a friend that's uh, planning on writing you an email, but because of the imminent, uh, I guess the imminent circumstances surrounding him, I'll just get right into it. He okay. discovered this week that he's going to be going into kidney dialysis. He's had diabetes for the last 15 years. But in the last two years, he's really, he, uh, at least on the surface, he's really improved his health. He's lost about Good. 60 pounds. Oh, nice. Um, and he's, he's, and he's really, he's, his exercise routine has really, really improved. But apparently he got discovered last week that his kidneys are 92%. Uh, he, he used 92% failed and oh, wow. that the di dialysis is, a, is an imminent must. And, I was, I, and my first thought was to go to you and say, what should be done in this circumstance? Clean the blood. Go, go ketogenic, calorie restriction, put as little into his body as possible. His kidneys, the kidneys filter the blood, right? So the more stuff that's in the blood, the harder the kidneys are going to work. Now, I'm assuming he's not injecting anything into his blood through his skin, so the most, most of the stuff that's in his blood is going to be food-based, which is why calorie restriction can be so helpful. we got to take a break, uh, Brian. Hang on, okay? We'll finish up when we come back. Don't go away, buddy. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. Got lines open for you. We'll be back right after this. On the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 Central Time, and 24-7 on our archive pages at brightsideben.com and benfuchsarchives.com. Got search engines up if you miss a program. You can review any topic you like at brightsideben.com and benfuchsarchives.com. 844-236-6010 is our number. We're talking to Brian in New Hampshire. Are you there, Brian? I am. Hey, buddy. Are you the Brian I talked to a couple days ago on the phone? Was that you? Uh, not a couple Brian? days ago, but... Okay, there might have been another Brian. Been a few weeks. Okay, so you got a friend with ki uh, chronic kidney disease. He's in good company. Yep. One out of six or one out of seven Americans have chronic kidney disease. It's basically another health crisis that we're dealing with. It's a blood issue. The kidneys filter the blood. The main causes of, uh, of uh, chronic kidney disease are going to involve blood pressure, sludgy dirt. Okay, I think we're back. I don't know. Brian, are you there? 
Did we lose Brian? I'm still here, Ben. Okay, I'm not sure. We, I, we had a little, we had a weird thing happen there, so I'm not sure what you heard me say. But you got to have zero tolerance for anything that burdens the body. The most likely burden, from a physiologic standpoint, is going to be food. So as little as he needs to eat, as little as he needs to eat, making sure he's sticking to foods that are easy for the body to process. Liquids are going to be ideal for him. Things like bone soup, bone broth, protein, smoothies, vegetable juices, anything that's easy for the body to process, and uh, also restricting his calories, specific, especially sugary calories, calories that are derived from starches and sugars and, and processed foods. Next thing you want to do is get him on a well-rounded nutritional supplement program, especially one that features liquid nutrients, the B vitamins, vitamin C, and electrolytes. They're all important. The doctors will tell them not to use electrolytes, baloney. You need your electrolytes. Now, it's true that the kidney filters the electrolyte or, or processes electrolytes, so he may have an issue there, so you just got to pay attention to his blood levels and, and how he feels, etc. But you need all your water-soluble nutrients. I'd be using the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Healthy Start Pack, the Sweeties from Longevity, Ultimate Selenium, Ultimate Niacin, all in the interest of helping his body get quick acting liquid nutrients as well as sugar metabolizing nutrients. Uh, uh, not, last but not least is uh, the mental and emotional strategies relaxing the body. Remember, high blood pressure is linked to an activated stress nervous system and high blood pressure is one of the major causes of chronic kidney disease. So relaxing the body, relaxing the blood pressure. The ultimate niacin will help with the blood pressure. Uh, you may want to try some magnesium which will also help with blood pressure. And then slow, deep, rhythmic breathing, muscle relaxation, hot water, as in hot tubs, hot showers. Anything you could do to relax the body and lower the blood pressure is going to help his kidneys. Kidney disease is reversible. So it's not a death sentence. However, at 92%, if his kidneys are 92% broken down, uh, obviously he's going to need dialysis. But as he continues, as he begins and then continues on this program, he's going to notice his kidneys are working better and better. And ultimately, the goal is going to be to get him off that dialysis because that is absolutely miserable, as I'm sure you and I know he knows. Does that help you, Brian? Yes, Ben. You, were, you got right into my next question. Is it reversible? And I yes. really appreciate it. Thank yes, you so it much. Is. Thank you, Brian. Take care, brother. Uh, oops. I'm sorry. Who did we get here? I think I just hung up on somebody. Hmm. Call back. Uh, I apologize if I hung up on you. Call back because we got uh, we do have open lines, and I'll get you. I'll get you first up uh, if I uh, if you want to call back. I'm sorry, I hung up on you. I don't know who that was, but I hung up on him. All right. Got a couple more stories here, and then. Uh, if we don't have any more calls, we'll just wind the program down. This is from the journal Scientific Reports, and this is really important, and it especially relates to what we were just talking about. Uh, from the journal Scientific Reports, a study from Brigham Young University, study shows stress could be just as unhealthy as junk food. This is so important because we focus on nutrition on this show. We focus on nutritional supplementation on this show. We focus on food on this show. But it's so important to recognize that stress management plays a major role in health. When the body is under duress, if it doesn't have the nutrients it needs, which also represents a, a, a form of duress, if the body is under psychological duress, and that includes issues like anger and depression and, and um, uh, sadness, lack of forgiveness, all of these kinds of seemingly airy-fairy sort of notions, when the body is under stress, it does not respond to the vicissitudes, the ups and downs of life as effectively as it can, as it should. As it, can, as it would, and a lot of this has to do with the microbiome, the bacteria in the digestive tract. Reading from uh, the study, Dr. Laura Bridgewater from the Br uh, Brigham Young University, quote, stress uh, can be harmful in a lot of ways, but this research is novel in that it, it, it ties stress to, check this out, female-specific changes in the gut microbiome. That means that stress is going to ultimately affect the microbiome, which will affect things like estrogen and progesterone female hormones. Why? Because it's the microbiome that processes estrogen. And this isn't just true about stress. It's true about any estrogenic health challenges. I'm talking breast cancer. I'm talking fibromyalgia. I'm talking PMS. I'm talking infertility. I'm talking anything that has to do, P uh, PCOS. I'm talking any health challenge that has to do with elevated estrogen. Focus on the microbiome. That is the gut bacteria. It's very difficult. In fact, I've never seen a case of estrogen dominance or estrogenic health challenges that does not have an associated digestive health issue. Again, pointing to the simple ideas that underlie the seemingly complex notions we have about health and wellness. Backtrack to the digestive system no matter what you have, but especially if you're dealing with some kind of estrogenic health issue. Now, stress management is also going to be important 
as uh, the headline here says, stress can be just as unhealthy as junk food. You can think of stress as being junk thought. You can think of stress as being junk emotions, emotions and thoughts that don't serve us. Just like junk food is food that doesn't serve us, junk thought, uh, stress, stressful thoughts or junk thoughts are thoughts that don't serve us. We've got to begin to uh, appreciate and honor our thoughts as if they were a precious resource. Do you want to spend your thinking resources, your thinking dollars, if you will, your thinking money on crappy junk thoughts? Or do you want to be spending it on productive thoughts, on thoughts that are helpful? Now, this is important for everybody, but is, is especially important if you're dealing with some long-term chronic health challenge. The thoughts we think, the feelings we feel, the stress we manage, as well as things like our digestive health, our blood sugar health, and oxygenation and respiration are the simple little things that we can do to defeat, to deal with, to handle the seemingly complex, the seeming complexity that's associated with chronic diseases. Nobody has to deal long-term with a chronic disease. A chronic disease, a chronic health challenge should m merely be a sign or treated as a sign that something needs to be tweaked in the body. And this isn't just true about the body, by the way. Anything that's happening to us in our lives should simply be you, anything negative that's happening, us in, uh, happening to us in our lives, whether it's physical health or it has to do with how we live our lives, lives in terms of our abundance or our relationships or anything else, needs to be regarded as a cue, as feedback. There is no failure only feedback. Everything that's happening to us psychologically, physiologically, emotionally, mentally is only feedback. Positive feedback or negative feedback. Positive feedback, you're doing the right thing. Negative feedback, you're doing the wrong thing. Just correct. When it comes to the physical health of the body, that means nutritional supplementation. That means stabilizing your blood sugar. That means calming the body down. And you know what, folks? It isn't that difficult. If you're talking chronic kidney disease, if you're talking diabetes, if you're talking cancer, if you're talking neurological issues, focus on the digestive tract and food. Focus on your blood sugar system. Relax the body. Get on a nutritional supplement program. Do a little bit of exercise. I mean, we say this all the time. We say this every day on the bright side, but it bears repeating. In, a, in a, a country, in a world where vast majority, the vast majority of us are dealing with some kind of long-term chronic health challenge, these basic ideas need to be repeated over and over and over again. Because you know what? You're not going to hear it from the mainstream. You're not going to hear it from the medical model. Your doctor is not going to tell you these ideas. The institution of medicine is not going to promote these things. Why? Because the institutions do not care about the individual. This, these are things that we have to handle ourselves. We've got to do our own business. Get yourself on a nutritional supplement program. You find out all about the Longevity products, any nutritional supplement program. I like the Longevity products because it, they're so easy to use. You get them every month. They got everything you need, all the Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients. Call the phone team, the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470 for more info. 866-735-2470. All right, that's all the time we have for today on The Bright Side. Tomorrow we'll continue talking veggie nutrition. We'll be talking about why people don't really like their veggies. There's an interesting reason behind it and what you can do about that. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have yourselves a wonderful, beautiful, awesome, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later, folks. Bye for now.